we're going to need to create a new sensor. We already have position, velocity, and acceleration that we could display in a graph or we might display it in our workbook. But we need to create a new one with a calculation. So we're going to use the calculation button that appears near the stopwatch in the top of the screen. And when we're here in the calculator, we're going to click New and we're going to replace the Y with the word kinetic energy is equal to one-half times mass and it's important that you use an asterisk for times times veloc velocity squared that's a caret shift six it's also important that we go in and set the properties but before I do that I'm going to define my other variables it says what's the variable mass I'd like to set up an experiment constant at the bottom of the calculator window and I'm going to call that mass and I'm going to give it a value of 967 oops 0 0.967 kilograms and accept the constant and now when it says please define the variable mass I'm going to say hey that's an experimental constant because I'm going to use it also for some other equations that's why I set it up down here in experimental constants and then please define variable velocity. There's two ways to do this. One is to choose data measurement and the simpler way is just to grab the velocity sensor and drop it right there. And it says velocity is coming from channel 1 and 2. Then I can hit accept to make sure it's accepting the kinetic energy. There's no errors that appear. Calculation is complete. It's very important now that I go into properties. And within properties I have to name it again, but this time I'm going to use a shorter name. Units of millijoules, and that reminds me, I forgot to set it. And the accuracy, I'm just going to do 0 0.1 and precision of 1 decimal. I'm in millijoules because the joules will be too small. And I also want to make sure that my x variable is time-based for all the calculations that I make and I can hit OK and then I have to remember oh yes I had a mistake I have to convert it to, to millijoules and then when I hit accept I check everything and now I have a new calculation sensor for any new data I take oops I forgot I'm not set up with my motion sensor my display is much smaller um, so things aren't looking just the same as your screen. When I click new data, you'll see that it appears run number one under each of these sensors, even my new kinetic energy sensor. I can just look at a graph of it real quick. When you set up a new calculation, make sure that you click new. Otherwise, you will overwrite the kinetic energy calculation that you previously had. There's a drop-down menu right here that will show you your previous calculations.